Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Helpers Help Out. Today is January 24, 2014. And today we're going to have a very different sort of episode. It'll be short, it'll be focused on setting up your help outs for success. My name is Sasha Shua, and today, instead of having a guest, I'm going to walk you through some of the interesting settings on the help out settings screen and why you might want to set them. If you have any questions, feel free to submit them during the, the show itself or afterwards as a comment or as a post in the community. Okay, let me turn on screen sharing and let's get started. Come oh, on, <laughs> here we go. All right. So in case you haven't checked out your settings at all, or if you haven't seen it in a while, um, it might be a good, to, good idea to, to look in there to see the different kinds of settings that you can change. I'll go through it from top to bottom, and, and as, as I mentioned, I'll, t I'll tell you a couple of hints of, about why it might be helpful. So we start with activity notifications. Sometimes if, uh, it's very easy to get lost in, in you know, either you have a lot of help outs coming up, or on the other hand, you might have a long stretch of time and you don't know when your next help out is. Setting this to, to notify you at least uh, 10 or, or, or 5 minutes before your help out starts is really helpful because it, you know, it dings um, and, uh, and, and that way you can, come, you can get back in there and you can join the help out early. I like setting it at 5 minutes because many of my help outs are 15 minutes long. So when I get that help out chime that says my next help out is about to start, that's a perfect time for me to start wrapping up my current help out and, uh, and work on transitioning to the next. I also ask my, my customers to join the help out 5 minutes early. That means that they have the time to deal with any technical issues they have, and because Helpbox displays a different notification if you're either uh, join, you're going to be joining the Helpbox but no one's there yet, or if a customer is already waiting for you, that allows me to also judge the time that I have with my current customer. So, for example, if it's doing the five-minute wrap-up, but I can see that no customer is there yet. I might spend some more time with my current customer and then after wrapping up nicely, maybe taking a couple of extra minutes, joining the next help out. On the other hand, if I see somebody else is already waiting, then I want to make sure that I do end exactly on time. If you're using Google Chrome, you can actually set this to receive desktop notifications. I keep this off because I also have my Google Calendar set up to have calendar entries. And so it's a little too many notifications and everything's going off at the same time. Um, but if you do want to, you can always set it up desktop notifications as well as pop-up notifications. The email notifications will send you a reminder the day before. So, and, and this is also, also really useful because your help out customers get something like this as well. If you don't want to receive them, you can uncheck this. I find that checking the, check, you know, leaving this box checked allows me to use my Google Mail as a history of, of um, sessions that have been scheduled before. I like allowing people to send me messages before booking a help out because that means that they can send me quick questions to find out if the help out is the right fit for them. On the other hand, if you find that you're getting a lot of irrelevant messages, you might consider turning this option off. So you can either choose to allow or disallow people to send you messages before booking a help out. Note that the request a time doesn't actually let customers request a specific time. So if you're getting messages from people who would like to book times with you that are beyond the schedule that you've already set, you might have to either work out the time yourself and then agree to be available then using the available now feature, or very uh, or uh, do the back and forth to figure out sometimes when they, are, they might be available and then coordinate with them so that you can schedule the slot right when they're available to book it. It's a bit of a hassle, so it might be just easier to, uh, to, to tell them that you're going to set your available now status uh, at, that, at that particular time. The last checkbox in activity notifications is specifically for health service helpouts. I guess for confidentiality reasons, these aren't automatically created. 
But if you do want to, uh, uh, well, you have the option of either saying you want them automatically created or not. So if you want to keep them confidential, uh, then you might consider not having it notify you everywhere. Or on the other hand, if you want to make it easy to manage all of that in one place, then leave that checkbox checked. Calendar events are super helpful because they allow you to, well, to look at your Google Calendar or elsewhere to uh, and see all of your commitments in one place. I use Google Calendar um, and I, I use a lot of calendars for this. So I find it really helpful to see whether a slot that I've booked for help outs uh, actually already has some confirmations in there. When you uh, when you set up your availability in your Google sorry when you set up your availability in a help outs calendar, your Google Calendar will reflect those uh, those times as blocked off, and then it will create additional calendar entries for the scheduled help outs. If you're not using the Google Cal uh, if you're not using Google Calendar, you can also get the, the events as uh, in ICS, I think is what it comes in as. So you can add it manually, but then there's a bit more hassle. So much better if you use Google Calendar, of course. Here's uh, Under giving helpouts, here's some, uh, here are some options you probably want to change. For example, uh, by default, you allow up to four people to queue for your helpouts, which can be a little bit overwhelming if you're doing the available now. You might find that some of them get pretty impatient, or uh, uh, they get more frustrated, or they drop off. So you may want to consider changing this to allow maybe only one person to queue up for the helpouts, and that way people know that you're busy when you're, when you're currently handling one. And then the next person in line um, will be there when you're, when you're finished. Uh, you can also actually adjust this on the fly when you're when you're doing available now. So you can play around with this to figure out what works for you. Another thing that's actually really, really helpful is to require your schedule your helpouts to be scheduled a certain number of minutes in advance. So if you like using scheduled helpouts, but you don't like being surprised by someone who's suddenly booking five minutes in advance, then you definitely want to consider setting this to, to require people to schedule maybe uh, 15 minutes in advance, an hour in advance, or even a day in advance, which I think is what I've got it set to here. I like setting it to a day in advance because that gives me time to send people a message. And it also gives me, you know, it gives them time to check their messages and respond. So in the pre-help out conversation, I like asking people, well, you know, what are you interested in? Uh, by the way, please install the Google Hangout plugin or do a test help out for free with the Google team. And that way, when I actually get to the help out, I'm more prepared to help them right away with their questions and, and key concerns, and we don't have to deal with any technical issues. So definitely consider setting your uh, require my help outs to be scheduled more than X minutes in advance option. Uh, some people have reported that they don't have the Google Analytics uh, option under giving helpouts. If you do, you can put your Google Analytics tracking code in there. However, it's a little hard to understand because the Google Analytics URLs are um, reported for helpouts are all numeric and they're hard to, you know, it's 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 a bit hard to interpret what the successful conversion is. Um, some people say maybe setting it to maybe setting a goal of three minutes on the site might be a good way to do it. So kind of to get a sense of, of the transaction. But I, I can't make heads or tails of my listing aside from maybe, oh look, here's an interesting spike in activity. Um, and uh, and and also when, when things are quieter, or also taking a look at where people are from. So uh, but if you are curious, you can always add that there and you can see what that's like. Money back guarantee uh, is always good to help uh, because A, it may result in happier clients and B, it results in less hassle for you. So uh, uh, you've got the uh, uh, get the help outs money back guarantee by allowing recordings for quality assurance purposes, which is actually a checkbox that you don't seem to be able to uncheck, so just leave it alone. Uh, and if you would like more tips, uh, you, you can actually get this by paying attention to the Google Plus community for help outs discuss. But if you do want to be emailed by the, by the Google team, I guess, uh, then you can check the, the newsletters, feature announcements, special offers, and feedback and testing. I have to confess, today was actually the first day that I looked at those options and I turned them on, so I can't tell you how awesome or unawesome the actual uh, messages are, but on the other hand, you know, it is kind of nice to see the official communications on all of this stuff. 
So those are your settings on the settings page, uh, which by the way, if you haven't come across them yet, you can get to them by the by clicking on the gear icon to the right of helpouts.google.com. And um, and that's it. If unless people have questions, if if you have questions, again, feel free to ask them. Um, actually, ask them in the community because I will be popping off soon. So today was just a very quick uh, tutorial for people who are, especially for people who are new to help us, but also for people who, like me, haven't looked at their help, their settings screen in ages. Um, and uh, there we are. Uh, oh, okay. Help out, helpers help out. Uh, news next week. I will be away because party. So, uh, so out, we're out January thirty one. But we will be back on February seven with a session on charging one on one with Chef, Chef Rashida. So, so next next week. So two weeks from now, we're going to be talking about. Uh, charging per session, charging per minute, dealing with refunds, dealing with um, uh, you know, pausing and resuming charging, and that promises to be interesting. So thanks for watching and listening, and um, have fun. See you around. <laughs>